Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video we have seen what is dynamic routes, how to create dynamic routes, how to create cache all segments of dynamic routes, how to make optional cache all segment of dynamic routes and how to generate server side dynamic routes by using generate static prompts function. Now in this video, video number or class number 12, we are going to learn what is loading UI. What is the role of loading.jsx, loading.js or loading.tsx for loading UI? What is suspense components? What is streaming in Next.js? And how to implement this streaming? So first of all, I want to explain what is loading UI. Remember that sometime when we create a page or a web page, it takes a lot of time to get information from the database or from the other server. So on that time, the website show blank space. It look old. So to fill up that blank space while the page is loading, we create a dummy UI that fill that gap and it, it show you some information like page is loading, like we uh, we rotate the spin also that something is coming from the database so such kind of illusions we give that is called loading ui i give you example here and the what is the role of these files also that i give you as a practical demo for that under the app i create one more folder and i give it loading remember loading means it become the url under this i create a page page.js and here I say R A F C E and here I make the coding H2 and I say this is loading UI example just for dummy. Now I go there and I write here loading press enter and it will show this page. You see this is loading UI example. This page is coming but this page is displaying only small amount of information so it is not taking lot of time to get data from the database but i make some change in this page and i and i force this to load the information after some time so for that i create a dummy function that will hold the screen for certain time means i create a wait function here that will wait for certain amounts of minutes i create here that wait function so i say export async function and here I give the name wait and I pass here milliseconds here I return it with the promise promise and here I pass arrow function here I say resolve and pass here set timeout function here I pass resolve and I pass the ms a certain amount of time it will wait so this wait function is ready now I call this function try to give some time for loading this page so i say await wait and i pass here 3000 means three seconds and then i say async also here so you will see that when i go to some other page service page or some other page they are loading fast you see i click here so they are loading fast but if i go for loading here press enter means that it taking a time you see it taking a time and after certain time means after three second and this page is coming but this time may be more maybe five second ten second i can increase this page so it will take more time so while it loading this loading page i want to give a dummy ui that on which i will show some spinner type of component or i show something else like loading that will replace the gap between these two pages for that under this loading we have to create loading.jsx js or tx file means if i am using javascript then i can use any file js or jsx if i am using typescript then tsx file is required so try to create this file and this file will create a loading ui so loading ui is what loading ui is a dummy type of ui that will fill the gap while it taken by the actual page for loading a content from the server so this loading page is taking three seconds to load a page so between these three seconds 
I want to show a, some UI that will give me a information that something is loading. For that, I create here loading dot js or jsx any name you can give and i say r a f c e here and here i give uh, information like this i say h2 and i say loading dot 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 so this type of information i am showing so you will see that automatically when i create this loading dot jsx ui and i can create anything here i can create some spinner or some other things and to make your screen better so now if I open this page once again, it will show the loading page for that time. You see loading page is coming and then we have a UI. Once again, you see I refresh. So we have a loading page. You see then we have this UI. So that means the gap between the last page and the new page, there is a some amount of gap. Suppose I increase the time. Suppose I say it uh, is five second of time in place of three second so it taking a time to load from the server data from a server for example so if i open this you see loading is coming and it's showing you illusion that some data is coming and some data is loading so like that we can replace this ui in place of this we can show model also means it will give some pop-up type of window and it will give you illusion that something is loading from the server so these type of thing you can design in this loading.jsx. If you are using TypeScript, you can say TSX. Otherwise, JS and JSX is for this. So that is all about loading and loading UI. Now, what is the suspense? Remember that in React also, we use suspense component. It is a part of React in which we create such kind of UI by using suspense function. In suspense component, we have fallback function and with the help of that fallback function we load the some other ui in place of actual one but in next.js this load.jsx or js file these file automatically creating this suspense component and they are shifting the shifting the uh, gap to the loading ui because of the suspense component so this suspense function or suspense component will execute fallback function that display some ui that will say something is loading i show you in later also but here is the understanding that what is suspense function so it is a part of react that uh, we call suspense function or we call suspense component that executes fallback function and fallback function execute loading ui means here we are loading this ui by using loading.jsx but in react we use suspense function for that now in a streaming also we use suspense function what is a streaming streaming means whenever we page whenever we open a page if that web page is large one and it have a lot of content and it take lot of time in loading of a page so then user experience is very bad for those website so if the page takes lots of time there is a way you can divide that page in a small small component and all small components can be streamed together by using suspense component how we can do this that we are going to check that is called streaming to divide your single large page into multiple sub components is called streaming how to implement streaming that I am going to explain you for example this page i am taking time lot of time here five second now i just create two more component and like i say component one dot jsx then i say r a f c e and we return this component one i can capitalize this because component in react we have a capital one uh, now one more component i can create i am creating two components so i say components two dot jsx I say R A F C E again I just make it capital also C and here I say component 2 and here I display component 2 remember so uh, this is component 1 this is component 2 and I am just I am just uh, importing these uh, wait function also to make delay for component 1 and component 2 so for that I say import and here I say wait wait from I say page from the page we have export this one this function and uh, 
that I want to use. So I remove this one, no need of this. I take this one like that, save this and I call this wait function. So I say await and I say wait and I say here uh, 3 millisecond. Here I say async function like this. Same I do for same I do for component 2 also like this. Here also I call it await and I say wait and here also I pass 3000 of time. 3000 means 3 seconds and I say async async here. Now I import these two component here. Remember that I am using this after loading screen. I say component component 1 like this and component 2 component 2 remember that so each component is taking 3 second this also taking 3 second this is also taking 3 second and page itself taking 5 second so that means this page is heavy load page it taking lot of time so how we can stream this page that we are going to learn so here i execute this and you will see that loading is coming then you see it taking a time then it taking a lot of time and then it this also take time because it is is displaying the information in because it's a you can say data in this page is not actual data it's just a dummy i am trying to create a dummy page to explain you that uh, there is a uh, there is a, some time to be taken by the component so how we can streamize this so here because this data will take time this data will take time so we can give here also illusion that something is loading in a page so for that what we can do we can use suspense here so we say suspense like this from a react here i say fallback and in fallback here i say h2 and i say loading loading com1 like this dot 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 we can say like this and here I say suspense like this and here I close this also save this so we have suspense here once again I copy this and I paste here and I change to component 2 remember that I am doing here streaming fallback and here I say loading component 2 like this now you see the illusion I execute this once again and you will see that loading is coming for page then you see loading for coming for component 1 and for component 2 and I increase the time of this suppose I say the component 2 will load in after 6 second and page 1 will load after uh, 2 second and it will load after 3 second and it will load after 5 second 6 second so you know, now you see if I go to service service is coming now I go to back here you see loading is coming component 2 you see once again you see that I am refreshing a page you see loading component 1 loading component 2 means it's called streaming so we are calling a component sub components by using suspense component you see so here so suppose this page taking lot of time to be load the data this page is taking lots of time for loading a data suppose we so we can divide this page in a small small chunk of streams you see I am converting it into a stream so one component two components so I am dividing this page into multiple components and each and every component those are taking a time to load a data from a server we call under the suspense you see suspense and here we are giving a illusion that it's a loading from the server so this this by this way we are doing stream and you can follow these documentation here also if you see here loading and streaming you go there so you see loading means we are calling this loading.js here and with the help of this internally is your suspense component to load this screen but if we are doing streaming here so in this streaming you see that we divide this layout in a small small chunks of components like this we have converted one then we converted two so we are converting these 
components the big component in a small amount of chunks of components and those component we are calling by use of suspense so suspense we use for streaming the ui you see so this type of things we have tried to create here because here the wait function is a dummy we are not taking a actual time to load a data we do not have a data but in actually when you load a data from a server it take time so you don't want to wait your uh, client for loading your page so you can give such kind of ui experience that we are loading this data the data is coming from the server so like this way we can use this loading and streaming facility in next years so in this video we have covered all the concepts what is loading i have explained what is the role of loading.jsx it used to create loading screen suspense we have used suspense is a component that call loading screen and streaming means to divide your big or large component in the small of chunks of component and we call those component under suspense component so how to implement i have explained you that how you can implement streaming by using suspense component so that is all about in this video if you like it if you learn something new please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.